He coached the likes of Boris Becker and Goran Ivanisevic to unprecedented success. Currently, Bob coaches Marin Cilic, who is still part of the Bob Brett Tennis Centre in San Remo, Italy. Marin recently reached the semi-finals of the Australian Open and now has a current ATP ranking of 10. With a coaching career spanning 36 years, Bob now focuses his time to work for the development of the sport. He was hired in June 2006 as a high-performance consultant for Tennis Canada and is involved with the development of the under-12 boys and girls and the under-14 boys. He works in partnership with Andre Labelle, Tennis Canada's under-12 national coach, the provincial tennis associations, and the Tennis Canada coaching staff including Simon Bartram, Jeff Elwood, and Eddie Brisbois. Bob has worked hands-on to help develop our young athletes and has worked closely with many of our top coaches to impart his player development knowledge. He comes to Canada about eight times a year and runs clinics from BC to Winnipeg, Toronto, Quebec, and Eastern Canada. Bob runs three camps a year at the Rexall Centre in Toronto, five days each, which includes sports science training such as physiotherapy, sports medicine, sports psychology, and nutrition. Bob, you're well known for your relentless work ethic and the demands you place on your students. You've been quoted in the past as saying, winning doesn't make you a champion, it's the hours, weeks, months, years spent preparing for it. How is this formula for success paying dividends in the clinics your team runs here in Canada? Do you see the talent and the drive necessary? Well, the first part is that you definitely need to, it's about a process of working that uh, eventually gets you to the final result. And it's, there's a, it has to be, first of all, a commitment uh, from the coaches, uh, from everybody involved. It's 65 minutes of a 60 minute lesson. Uh, that's what you have to be, it's that extra five minutes that really pays off. Um, then, secondly, it's identifying those athletes who are prepared for uh, that extra time that they're going to have to put into it and they're able to respond. They need to be able to learn well, uh, easily, not that, it's, not that there's too much, um, not that it's too hard for them to learn new concepts and the quicker they learn, the easier it is, the faster they improve. And then, of course, they need to have athletic skills. And from, it, from the program that we've got with the under 12 boys and girls and the boys under 14, we definitely have identified some players who I think have got a very good chance uh, to have a professional career. And then find how successful that is and then that's another level of issues. Absolutely.